Okay, so this is the first time I've ever posted a video of this type of sort. And I do realize I look like crap. There's a reason behind that. There really is. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going insane. Anyway. Okay. Here's the deal. Ivy Theater Arts. If you want to take it, by all means, take it. You better be a smart person. You can't be like one of those regular theater people who kind of just like think on a totally different weird and strange level. No, you've got to be like the super crazy smart theater people who can like can entirely understand IB and Esis because that's what language this thing is in. I B and Esis. Okay, so this week everything we do. I've been working on this course for a year. That's right, a year. Working on aspects of the course since September, but exactly a year. You know what? I'm going crazy, okay? There is too many things involved in this thing. I mean, who would have thought that in theater you would have to be writing 2,500 word essays on stuff that doesn't even have to do with the actual play? I mean, who needs to know? I mean, I understand people sit there and like, you know, do research on their character and, you know, different aspects of what their character might have been going through in the background of the character. I do that myself. But, why do you need to know about other playwrights to understand your playwright? Why do I need to know about other absurdist theater to understand this one? Honestly, I'm going crazy. And a 30 minute presentation is just absurd. 30 minutes. Speaking for 30 minutes on a structured thing, on something that isn't structured. Theater is not structured, it's art. Art is not structured. Art is... A living, breathing thing. You can't put theater and art into a guideline. That makes no sense. That's not theater. Oh. Okay, you see this? I used to have more hair. I ripped out most of it. I did. Really. There's probably hair around places. This is crazy. I'm just saying that. Absolutely craziness. You can't be doing shows and be doing this test. So if you decide that you're going to take IB Theater, I'm going to tell you this, this tiny bit of advice. You might not start the course until, like, actually working on your IB work until halfway through your junior year, but I suggest you start journaling and writing every little thing you do in the class down, even if it doesn't make any sense of how in the world it ever is going to affect you, write every little thing down in a notebook, and then put it and type it on the computer. Because the people who grade this test are clearly not artists. Because they don't understand us. At all. I don't get it. This is honestly the hardest IB test ever. It's crazy. It's insane. Don't take it. If there's any way you cannot take it, don't take it. Enjoy theater. Don't hate it. This makes you hate it. This makes you... Ah! 